In Creo 10.0, we have added functionality within Creo Simulate to fully support multi-body parts. Here on the screen, we have a part that has six bodies. Let's take this into Creo Simulate and show you all the areas that we fully support now in Creo 10. Prior to Creo 10.0, you can still work with multi-body parts, and we had workarounds to use them by using volumes. But now you'll see the word body or bodies in multiple places. First, you can assign a temperature load to a body as shown here. Next, when it comes to assigning materials, you can assign materials now by body. Let's assign the two plates to be aluminum, and then we can pick the four pieces of hardware, the nuts and the bolts, and assign the hardware to be steel. One more location that we can utilize bodies is in the meshing controls. We can now define a maximum element size to a specific body or bodies. And finally, for the setup, let's take a look at connecting a multi-body part. You can do it manually or automatically. I'll go ahead and connect everything with contacts between all the bodies. We select all the bodies and we have all the contacts. This will give me all the contacts between the bodies that I need. Let's look at the review geometry to verify. I'm going to need a little more definition around the bolt bodies or they're going to slide off the bottom of this assembly. <clears throat> Let's just redefine the last two contacts to be bonded in this case. Also, as you can see, you can define interfaces by body to body if desired. One final look at review geometry, and we can now look at solving. For this analysis, let's just take all the defaults for a single pass run and then click on start. It's only going to take a few seconds. And now we can define a result window. Let's do this with stress and go ahead and show it deformed by a little bit. And take a look at how this multi-body part looks. To see inside the model, we're going to have to make a capping surface. So we'll do that next. And one last body reference that we can use is redefining the result window and the display location. And now we can select the bodies or body that we want to see. So Creo Simulate in Creo 10 now fully supports multi-body parts.